Hello my beautiful soul family Scorpio, welcome back to my channel today. I'd like to give you some general message and then we're gonna slightly touch on your love and romance reading. Okay Scorpio, today is such a hot and steamy day here in Korea. I really wish you stay cool wherever you are. Stay safe and stay cool. So hot, oh my gosh. All right, Scorpio, what's the message from the Shamatic Healing Dag? Okay, what is the current energy? What do we need to know about your life? What is going on with you, my lovely Scorpio? Forgiveness, okay, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to move on. How can you move on? If you are still dealing with the karmic previous relationship, where if you are still dealing with some memories which happened in the past, or if you are still dealing with the negative energy, which is like um, hating someone or something like that, it's time for you to forgive and forget. I know it's easier said than done, Scorpio, but it's good for you. At the end of the day, you will understand what I'm trying to say. I've been through a lot of things. At the time, I really hated the fact that I was betrayed. I really hated the fact that I was stupid enough to trust that kind of BS. So I hated myself also, not just hating the person who made me cry, but I was the only one who had to suffer from depression for a long time. So I decided one day, okay, I will just forgive and forget delete button. I just press the delete button and forgive them. And I forgave myself too. Okay. So Scorpio, I don't know what you're dealing with right now, but I feel like that from the first energy, first card, forgiveness card, you have to forgive yourself first of all. And you have to try to forgive them, even your enemy. Okay. They are giving you precious life lessons. Yes. Even though you hate them, whether it's a coworker or your friends or ex-partners, you don't have to hate them forever. It's for your own high school. Just move on, please. Scorpio, okay? So that you can embrace new, brighter future. What's the next me message from the Shamantic Healing Day for my lovely Scorpio? Ascen ascension, okay? Ascension, oh my gosh. As soon as you forgive and forget about the thing that happened in the past, you will, you will be dealing with the transformative ascension process where you are already dealing with ascension process you are going to a higher 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 self you will be ascending and then you will finally open your third eye so to speak and then you can see everything from a different perspective oh my gosh scorpio okay that's really fantastic energy that you are dealing with right now okay wow look at that new day the sun is coming up and you will ascend to up to the sky. Sky is the limit. Beautiful message. And then let's see. What is the angel guidance for my lovely Scorpio? Okay. Well, there are three cards. First of all, three of emotion. Let me read this one. Three of emotion, Scorpio. Wonderful news is on its way. Wow. Announcements regarding engagement, pregnancies, <coughs> births, or Graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made where communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings where happy endings are just around the corner. Wow! Great message. Okay, Scorpio, what is the next one? Healer of abundance. Healer of abundance. Okay. Healer of abundance. Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to extend, expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. This situation involves a person, possibly you, who is down to earth with a gift for design or decorating. Oh, he or she is open-minded and nurturing. Wow. Wow. You are very creative and uh, innovative, Julia Stein. I know. And yeah. According to this card, it's time for you to extend, expand your business and career. That's nice. And what is the third message from this deck? Aid of abundance. This is a time for this is a time of learning and earning, honing your earning your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself on the healing art. Hmm. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your project carefully so it's all about uh, career and business 
and especially if you are in the art field, it's time for you to express, express fully, freely your express your creativity as freely as possible. Okay, you are ascending to a higher level of self. So, especially when you have to forgive someone, forgive you. Maybe still dealing with some residual, resi residual energy of negativity, so that you know maybe the best way to get rid of the negativity is by painting or by composing, like by engaging yourself fully in some kind of art project. Okay, so anyway, that's my advice. Beautiful messages for you, my lovely Scorpio. And then finally, okay, it's time for you to move on to the love and romance reading. What is the message for you? What is the message for my lovely Scorpio? Okay, there are four cards. Actually, five cards. It's time for you to release your ex, okay? Stop stop worrying about the thing that happened in the past. The so time has come to clear your energy, my lovely friend. And you have getting to know each other, okay? This could be the one, this one. Getting to know each other. So you may have met somebody recently. And this could be the one already. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. Scorpio, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. It's time for you to be vulnerable, okay? To build a romantic castle. And there is an intimacy also. Beautiful chemistry energy. Wow, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And let your friends help you. If you need your help from your best friends, ask them for some dating advice or something like that. Okay, bye. I'll be back.